Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to plastic dip your even though your front grills. First, open up the hood. Now, you need to uh, go to your tools, get a Torque T20. And unscrew these clips right here, or I guess um, screws. Alright, oh, finished taking all the screws out, as you can see right here. Now, what you're gonna do, you know, lift, and then there are some clips, I don't know if you can see right there. And you need to unclip them to take the grills out. Let me try this. I was able to get that clip out. They just pop right out. I'm gonna set them aside. Now I'm gonna skip to the next one. Let's forward. We managed to get some of the clips out. Now, it's gonna take a little bit of effort, but you can get them out. Now you're missing some. They are at the bottom. Same thing. Just press down the tabs. So you can pop them out. So you can see. I'm missing. Oh, I think I just pulled them out now. Bear with me because I have only one hand. So the other hand I'm holding the video camera. Oh I'm missing. Oh there's another clip right here. Let me get this one out. Right. Now as you can see I finished taking out both grills. Now what you're gonna do is clean them clean them thoroughly with a cleaner. We're gonna use okay, hold on. Just soap and water will work and then after you clean them, we're we're gonna get ready for the now next step. Now that you're ready for paint. Take your plastic dip and shake it. Well, I already did that. And now you have to spray um, light, even coats for your first coat. After your first, you put your first coat on, you let it sit for at least five minutes, and then you come back. Now we're gonna go to our second coat. Again, let it sit for around five minutes, and I'm gonna apply around three or four layers. Um, and this this car doesn't really do that um, highway driving, so maybe three. 
but it's recommended for for longer lasting. Now we're going to our third coat. Remember each coat put it a, li a little bit thicker than the last one. I said I was going to go to three coats, but I think I'll do a fourth, maybe a fifth, make it look better. Again, I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then spray again. I think it will look better with a fourth coat and then just leave it there. But if you're going to do a lot of highway driving or, you know, if you wash your car a lot, you know, Okay, now this is going to be my last coat for me. It's starting to look pretty good. And sorry for the camera shaking everywhere and not able to focus. You know, my first time. I don't have a professional camera. I'm holding the camera and spraying at the same time. So bear with me. Actually, I think I'm going to have to do another coat. And remember, after you do your last coat, you have to let it sit more than 5 minutes. Um, preferably like 30 to 1 hour or more. If, if you touch the paint and it's sticky, then you have to let it sit for more. And I'll be back for the second one. I mean for the last one. I did all the coats now. Uh, you guys might not have to do all those coats. Um, the problem was there was so much wind where I was outside, so I brought it inside, g gave it its final coat. Now, you might want to do this. It's the best thing. If you um, take this and put it right where you get a lot of sun and will bake the paint, make it stick better and dry faster. Um, and put it over there and show you guys because I can't do it with one hand. See, you see, I found a perfect spot here. The sun hits violent here. And just let it sit for at least 30 minutes. And it should be done. The paint is dry now. Now let's get ready to install them. You still have to be careful. They're still a little bit wet. I mean, a little bit sticky, sorry. You just pop them right in and it'll just it will just hook on yeah so make sure the clips go in correctly if not it won't properly close so again sorry for the camera it's trying to get this in the first one popped in it takes a little bit of muscle but i did it now now we're gonna go to the next one 
Let's see if I can do this one easier. Oh, same thing. You have to muscle it out. So I'm gonna stop the video again and show you when it's complete. They're in, now you just need to put the screws back on. First, tie it in by hand to make sure everything fits. And then we go to the screwdriver. <laughs> the corner ones might be harder. So, this might have to screw these, these two first, and then yeah, and make sure the rubber seal is back on. I had to take it off. Now I put it back on. And then the last one right here. This one, also same problem. You're oh no, never mind. But you're probably gonna have to screw these first to get the the last one in. Then maybe this one goes in now. Should. I don't know, but now we take the screwdriver again. And there we go. We tighten it. Not too tight, you don't want to break anything. Same thing right here. Again, sorry for the camera, but yeah. This one, I'm gonna have to check what's wrong with it. I'll be back. Just finished installing them. They look great. And I'll be making more videos, so subscribe and like this video. Yeah, they look really, really good. You can't really see it on the camera, but they look really, really good. I'm going to put some pictures up later.